Hi, I am Nur Ayuma Faisal Yusa. I'm a third year student of Computer Communication Systems Engineering and my metric number is 200342. So for this video, um, I'll be showing you how I did my first assignment, assignment 1, on audio recording for ECC 343 Digital Sector Processing. So for this assignment, I need to record myself saying my name um, and then I need to um, change the sampling rate and also the bit rate. So as you can see here, I've already imported my original recording, I mean original audio, which is this one. So my original audio, the sampling size is 48 kHz and the bit rate is 32 bit float. Um, so, but before that, before I give you um, to hear the audio, I need to remind you that I have tried everything to remove the echo, I mean to get rid of the echo completely, but it just didn't work. So if you hear the audio after this, there'll be an echo, which means if the audio says my name is, it will say my, and then silence for a while, and then my again, silence, name, silence, name again, because it echoes. So I am truly sorry for that, but let's just hear it, shall we? My, my name, name is... is no, no. Ain. Muhammad Faiza Riza. Okay, so um, that's the sounds of that's the sound of my original audio. So the second step, I need to alter the sampling rate of my original audio, which is um from forty eight kilohertz to eight kilohertz, which I already did, but I I am still going to show you how. So what you have to do is that you need to select this track or audio and then you go to tracks and then click resample and then you enter the um, new sampling rate that you want or you can just choose here. So as um, a requirement, we need to change it to 8000, then we click 8000, then click OK. And don't forget to change this project rate, project rate here as well. If you don't change, then will do nothing to your audio. And now we're going to listen to um, the altered audio and we're going to tell the difference between this altered audio and the original audio. But again, I would like to remind you, there'll be echo. So whatever you want to compare, just compare the first one, okay? If there's two names, I mean, if there's two words, my and my, you compare the first my with the first my that you heard, that you heard just now, okay? Same goes to name is and vice versa and um, I mean etc. My name is Noor. I'm okay because it's too long. I'm just going to stop there. Um, as you can hear just now, there's a difference between this altered audio and also the original audio. The original audio sounds clearer than this one. I can show you that. Um, for this one, it sounds like um, it doesn't. Have, it doesn't sound clear. It sounds like I'm covering my mouth when I'm talking. If you still don't get that, uh, I'm gonna demonstrate to you now. Okay, so right now I am saying my name Nur Ain with my mouth wide open, but then I'm going to say my name with my mouth covered. Okay, Nur Ain. So you can tell the different track. I mean, it sounds like muff. It sounds like you're muffling. I don't know if muffling is a word, but yeah, it sounds like that. It sounds like uh, you're putting cloth or something in your mouth and then talk. It sounds like that, the second audio. And for the third audio, what I need to do is I need to reduce the beat rate instead of the something rate. So I need to reduce the beat rate from 32 bit to 16 bit PCM. And I need to maintain the something rate. So to um, alter, alter the bit rate, uh, we're going to click on this one and then go to format and then choose 16 bit PCM and don't forget to change the project rate as well. So 48 kilohertz, then we select this one and we hear it out. My, My name is, is Okay, so um, if you want to hear this one again my name 
I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a difference between this one and this one. This one sounds clear, but this one sounds almost the same, but it's not the same. I mean, the um, purpose of reducing the beat rate is to take out the good part of the audio, but I think this audio doesn't really have any good part, so um, um, that is probably why it sounds almost the same. But uh, we shall see the differences after this uh, because I'm going to export all this audio to my files and then I'm going to show you how um, the size file um, reduces or um, dec I mean decreases or increases um, compared to the original audio. Okay, now I'll be comparing the size of the file for the original audio. The DSP one, I name it as DSP one, also the altered audio. Um, the altered audio, which is the sampling rate, the one we reduce the sampling rate, and also the one we reduce the bit rate. So, this is for the uh, sampling rate, um, second step, and this the bit rate is for the third step. So, as you can see, the original size of the file is 1 to 3, 1 kilobyte, but then when we reduce the sampling rate, the file reduces to the size of the file reduces to 2000, um, sorry, 220 kilobyte. And after reducing the bit rate, the size of the file reduces to 175 kilobyte. So it fits the theory, which is um, when you reduce the bit rate, also the sampling rate, the size of the file will be reduced as well. So that's all for my first assignment, assignment A, assignment one, A one, I think, for the SP uh, digital signal processing. And uh, I hope you're satisfied with my assignment. Thank you.